Hello, hello, hello. It's still Sunday, May 15, 2022 for me. Many of you have asked me, why are lunar total eclipses so much more common than solar eclipses? The answer is very easy. Suppose you stood on the moon right now and you looked at the Earth. The angular size of the Earth is four times larger than the angular size of the Sun. So, the entire moon can be in the shadow of the Earth without any difficulty. The entire moon could four times be in the shadow of the Earth. So it's not at all uncommon. Now stand on the Earth and look at the moon. The angular size of the moon is almost exactly the same as the angular size of the sun, about half a degree. Therefore, if the moon is a hair larger in angular size than the sun, which is possible because these are elliptical orbits, there is a minute spot on Earth, only maybe five at most, ten kilometers, where the umbra of the moon is on the Earth. So only there, in that very small area, we could then see a total solar eclipse. And since the Earth rotates, that very small spot of about 5-10 kilometers in size, of course, rotates over the Earth. So the probability that you, that in your town there will be total solar eclipse is near zero. Never happened to me and never will happen to me. I did see a solar, total solar eclipse once and I had to travel to it. That's a separate issue. Because then you know you can find out which very narrow area, which is then ultimately a line because of the rotation of the Earth, will there be totality. You can even then select the point where <laughs> the probability of clouds is the lowest. So, you stand, if there is total lunar eclipse anywhere where you stand on the moon, anywhere, you will not be able to see the sun. Total solar eclipse. If there is a total solar eclipse <laughs> and you look at the sun from the Earth, you may see a partial solar eclipse at best, but you will never see a total solar eclipse unless you are very, very lucky or unless you are willing to travel to the locations where there is total solar eclipse. Simple astronomy, very interesting. The reason why this lunar eclipse is ideal for the east coast of the United States, assuming we have no clouds, that for me, the totality starts about midnight. Keep in mind, since it is full moon, the angle between the moon and the sun is 180 degrees. So at midnight, the sun, the, the moon is as far above the horizon as the sun is below the horizon. Which at this time of the year, I calculated it, uh, is about 58 degrees. So the sun is about 58 degrees below the horizon for us at midnight. So, the moon is 58 degrees above the horizon, in the direction south. So, 
So it's perfect for me. <laughs> I can see it from my house. It's far high in the sky. So it's ideal for East Coast United States. But clearly one or two hours time zone differences are not going to make much difference. Many of you ask me, can I see the lunar eclipse from, and then you mentioned the location, South Africa, uh, <laughs> Japan, Australia. Well, Google it. That's the easiest. Google, can I see the total lunar eclipse from South Africa? And you get an answer. I thought I gave you enough information. I told you already, you can't see it in India. Of course, when you are in India, there will be total lunar eclipse at my time, 11.59 p.m. Unfortunately, the sun in India is then above the horizon and the moon is below the horizon. In other words, yes, yes, there is a total lunar eclipse. But since the moon is below the horizon, you can't see it. Life is often very simple if you know a little bit of astronomy. <laughs>